Welcome to Gadget Talk here Tuesday, uh, May 10th here. Um, as you can see, Gary is, uh, Derek is not with us tonight. So we have Gary filling in here for a bit. Derek, I think might be jumping a little bit later on. Yep. It's like the good old days of uh, uh, you and I doing the first shows. So, yes. Um, yeah. I, 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 dra I, I got my uh, <laughs> original Gadget Talk shirt out. So I thought I'd be a, appropriate wear that so nice well welcome i enjoy having you out here as well so well, thanks derek so it's always fun um so tonight we're going to go over doing vinyl okay uh, cool. preps but before we do that let's go ahead and do our sponsors real quick you bet if you have not become a patron of the geocache talk network what are you waiting for patron levels start as low as a bison tube level at three dollars a month to sign up is easy. Simply go to the Geocache Talk website and click on the Become a Patron button or go to patreon.com forward slash geocache talk. Patrons now get the famous blackout coin, invites to special events, and other really great items throughout the year. Become a patron today. Logwork, the creators of the fantastic logbook made with genuine right in the rain paper. The logbook's designed for the micro containers of the present and future, geared towards the hider who'd rather go caching than doing cache maintenance. Find them at logwork.com. That's L O G W E R K.com. Have you subscribed to FTF Magazine yet? FTF Magazine is the number one geocaching magazine available. It is a quarterly magazine that you can be part of. Submit your geocaching milestones and adventures to be published. FTF Magazine is also interactive with puzzles to solve and the hunt to find Spartacus. If you can solve the puzzle or find Spartacus, then you will be entered in to win a special path tag. Every new subscription, you will receive a special swag pack. Subscribing is easy. Just visit FTF's website, ftfgeo.com. Don't miss out and subscribe today. All right. Um... So it looks like we have Dave Wagner here on the uh, on the chat. Hi, Dave. Uh, Tricassius, uh, GCD SK11, um, Bell on the Move, call it from uh, California. He had a mega, I think, last week. He did. They did. Mega. I know yeah, it's I, awesome. I, I saw a couple pictures of it. It looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and Paul, uh, uh, is it Paul Racy? Racy, mm -hmm, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. uh, Pizza Ninja. Uh, Audie Olson, I haven't seen him for a while. Welcome, Audie. Uh, Engineer 42, uh, Mini Meg, Martin Jones, and Gene is on. So welcome, everybody, to the show. Um, real quick, though, I want to ask, did you go to, Gary, did you go to any events for May 4th? No, I I didn't get to get to any for May the 4th. I wore my May the 4th shirt that, you, that I got from you, so, um, but... Um, no, that would have been I, fun. Did you I get to go to one? To, I to, did. I went to a couple. Cool. Um, I had it. I did. I forgot to wear my May the Fourth shirt. Oh well, well um, at least you got to go to an event. Yeah. So it was fun. I took the the uh, cash we made last month for it. Oh, cool. Uh, for May the Fourth, and uh, awesome. a lot of people had a lot of people had fun finding the cash. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was fun. Um, yeah. Well, go Oilers. Are they in the playoffs? Uh, I don't know. The stars are in not going to win. Yeah, the stars. Stars. Uh, are... see, I believe Colorado swept Nashville. Yeah, glad we didn't play them to start with. Holy cow, yeah. they're yeah. a juggernaut right now. Um, yeah, you know um, something. If I wanted to, I wanted to point out a couple of things real quick before we get really cranking. Oh, yeah. um, I know not everybody's going to get to go to Cash Fest, so I don't want this to become always a about cash fest type thing but i did want to mention that um without spilling any beans that um those that are going to get to go are going to experience some incredible things and so um the gadget uh folks have been uh you know chad and derek i've been able to kind of i get to eavesdrop on what they're doing a little bit and uh incredible you know um so many people are going to be, uh, I mean, we're accommodating everybody and I'm, I appreciate we've had to kind of, it was a good problem, right? Chad to have so many people cause we, we, 
I wouldn't say early on, but it's some, there was a point where we're like, we're not gonna get everybody through a session. So it's like, we had to do three sessions and, um, the guys have been doing great as far as the prep work that is going into it. And I, what I've, what I've seen of the, the cash you guys are going to make is unbelievable. I mean, I can't believe just seeing the bits and pieces of it. I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is going to be incredible. People are going to walk away with such an incredible cash. Uh, I mean, it just, it's going to be fun. It, it's going <laughs> to be, be a great build. Dave Wagner knocked out of the park with this, uh, like usual. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, this is something that Dave Wagner designed just like most of our, or all of our, uh, uh, kits that we have. Yeah. Um, he does such a good job with the instructions, you know, everything, designing them, having everything made. So, um, it, it's going to be fun. Three sessions. Uh, like you said, there's, what do we say? 132 people yeah so about 40 a session yeah that's gonna be five a session roughly and you'll get to sign up the thing too for those that are coming to cash fest when you when you pick up package when you pack up when you pick up your package one of the things that the roadie because we call them roadies all our volunteers are roadies the road crew the road crew is going to ask you is they're not gonna let you get away with leaving until you make a decision on which session now if you want to just build it on your own some some other time yeah. you just tell them you say i'm picking up you know i'm picking up my kit or well you'll have to come pick your kit up you get a you get a token and then you have to come by the booth or not the booth you come by one of the gadget academies you hand in your token and they'll give you the the, the kit but if you don't yeah. want to build it right then just put it in your bag and, and move on you don't have to um so don't feel like you know there's some sort of trick that you're going to you know, you'll need instructions. I think later on you could probably get instructions on how to build it. So uh, we could email you instructions. But what I thought about doing is mm -hmm. uh, the uh, oh, what is that thing? QR code. Yeah, just so they right. can scan it. Just take you to the site. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's cool. And then the last thing I want to say was when we switched the format, uh, and we moved pretty much we moved all the shows to Sunday and you guys stayed on Tuesday and you guys said, well, we'll just do a weekly show. And I'm like, okay, uh, <laughs> you guys going to handle a weekly show. And uh, to me, it's worked out fabulous because you guys are covering a lot. And like tonight's is something that you normally wouldn't have a chance to do a complete show on. But since you're doing a weekly show, you can cover it, you know? And so I'm, I think that it's beneficial for everyone that you're able now to do something, you know, where before it was just, you know, twice a month. Now you can, with the weekly, you guys can cover so much ground that and dive into, you know, deep into so many different aspects of, of gadget building that, you know, you guys are giving such a rich amount of material so it's really cool so with w but as saying that i'm turning back to you and we're going to talk yeah. about vinyl no, no i appreciate it um yeah <laughs> it, it's tough trying to do a weekly show and trying to come up with ideas especially if you're trying to build something every week because it's not just getting a piece of paper and going over topics and figuring out what kind of questions to ask you know or talk about i actually have to build it and oh that doesn't work okay got to redesign it rebuild it and keep mm -hmm. building it until it works and, you know, between a regular job and everything, your personal life, and then trying to do that weekly is tough. So, yeah, that's why we kind of did the the bigger builds, like the bigger caches and stretched it out over the month. Uh, and then the plan is to do smaller shows like tonight, just going over vinyl, some basic stuff. I, it's perfect. I mean, I, so. I, I love it because, again, it's a topic. I I mean, I, I couldn't tell you where I couldn't tell you where to start, but I know we're going to talk tonight. And this is something that, you know you're building such a great library of, of possible things that people are going to want to know about. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where to start either. So we're going to figure it out as we go here. <laughs> that's good. But uh, one thing about cash fest, if you want to be a roadie, you know how to solder and you want to do it for the gadget build. Even if you don't know how to solder, we need roadies, um, you know, 40 something people a session. Um, we're going to need people there to kind of help out 
builders, cashers that are building. So if you have time uh, during, if you're going to the event and you have time, please sign up. Um, it's at the Cash Fest site, right? Yes. So they can sign up for roadies. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I don't know if it's really gonna, not going to really be helpful, I guess, to put it, I, I put it in the show notes, but the, really the place to go is, be better if I explained it, is to go to, um, you go to cashfest.com, go to cashfest.com, and then you'll see up at the top, there'll be a spot. There, there's five across the top. So across the top is register sponsors or vendor levels because we're still working on getting our sponsors. Um, then there's roadie sign up. There's the store and then there's contact. So the roadie sign up is in the middle there. And uh, when you click on that, um, then you'll get options and um, we're, I mean, we're, we're filling, but we're still, we're still short. Um, I'm looking now at the uh, gadget, the gadget ones. Let me see. Um, gadget. Yeah. So get, yeah, we're missing the four to five thirty is a good, is a great spot to sign up. So we need, we need people from four to five thirty. And if you're going to stick around, if you're going to be around to do, to, uh, to come to the, um, to the concert, um, that's a good one to sign up for as a volunteer. Cause you're going to be back probably, you know, in the area, uh, getting ready for, um, to, to, for the concert. So the four to five thirty is, uh, available to, um, to help with. And, um, so, um, so there you go. Oh, also there's one spot, uh, you can, and you can do it with Andrew, uh, Bell on the Move is doing it from 10 to 12:30, and uh, he needs an, another uh, helper there um, for that uh, session. Um, oh, nice! The, the 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 very first session, by the way, is filled. So uh, there's a spot with with Andrew at 10 12:30, and we need two people uh, for the um, four to five thirty. So nice. Well, thanks, Andrew, for uh, jumping in on that one. Okay, so let's talk about vinyl. Mm -hmm. So it's plastic stuff that's sticky. So, <laughs> but uh, good. anyway, um, there's a couple different things. Now we we've gone over several things. We're going to start with the vinyl, then we'll kind of go with like a wrap system, and then we'll go with uh, what we kind of covered last week was um, the uh, template. Mm -hmm. um, so real quick, just to start it out, uh, what we I always use a piece of glass to do my vinyl work on, especially cutting. Right. Um, Cause your knife will cut through the vinyl very easy on glass. All right. Um, so let's see um, a couple examples of stuff you can do for vinyl real quick mm. um, is that really make caches pop out. Um, and I've shown these before, but I do these signs. So if you want to do a sign for a cache or an event, Right. These signs are, are great uh, oh, to use. Awesome. And now you can use a cricket for these if you want. Um, you know, crickets are a great uh, uh, machine. Um, or you can use vinyl for the side of your uh, cash container. You did that with, yeah. for this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's vinyl on a fence sign. Uh, and yeah. so that was, I think we, we did a build on, on that mm -hmm. um, here. It's is that the what? Oh, I, did I send you two? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I still have a backup because the yeah. one has kind of a, it's the back of it's a little bit. I just, you know, I plan yeah. to use it. I need to send you the new one that flips up. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I mean, it's amazing the amount of people who run across this and they're like, there's nothing at that. There's no, there's no cash there. And I go, well, I, I can, I've told this before, but I can drive by. I can see it. So I, I, I'll, I'll go do a quick drive by and I, I can see that it's there and I go, no, I, the cash is still there. there. <laughs> um, some people find it pretty quickly, um, but they're I always get a favorite point. You always get fair. I, I mean, I'm, but, um, but I love the ones that are like, um, you know, they're when they have the aha moment that, Oh my gosh. Cause 
if they look closely enough, the GC code is right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then so. there's some, um, my adventure lab one uh -huh. is just like that. And so it's really easy to find. Right. Um, is this one here. And so it says adventure lab right on it. Right. <laughs> so same thing. And, uh, one of the things fell off and I thought that's fine. Cause it kind of looks like a real sign. Right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> awesome. anyway, yeah. Same. I mean, if you, you can make them funny. I have one that has the warning and then it says no power instead right. of high power or high voltage, no voltage. No voltage. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do that make it fun. So yeah, I really like vinyl. If you have a chance to, to do it, then I would recommend it. Right. Um, you'll get, you'll get a kick out of it and you'll get great logs. Yep. Uh, so, um, first thing to do when you get vinyl so you're going to cut it out and uh i grabbed a couple no, i didn't grab any that was not woven let me grab one real quick you're fine and Adi's asking or men mentions about the the outdoor permanent vinyl last outside in the elements um yeah i've i'm you know even i don't have any having any issues Adi. i mean uh, i don't know if how many of those you might have out that have uh vinyl on them but you know with no, the it's made to be outside yeah they're you still really buy do... a cheap vinyl okay. um if you buy a cheap vinyl then they can shrink yeah, um uh, weather changes that's what they letter cars with and signs and do all okay. kinds of stuff with is vinyl so right um i use a premium 3m vinyl okay uh, martin actually could probably tell us the exact brand right on there um but uh the the problem with vinyl is you need a lot of color sometimes and so oh. most of mine is up here the stuff i use and the stuff i don't use very often sits down below um right but uh yeah so and it's probably i think it's three dollars a yard okay if i remember right um or not what did i say three dollars three dollars a square yard no, maybe or? ten ten dollars a yard is what $10. i think it is is it a square yard so, so a, yeah so it's two foot by three foot if i remember right oh okay um that's yeah, not too bad i i have a sign company here i go to right uh, and get it so but you can get it on uh amazon stuff like that so okay um so here just to go to the uh <clears throat> the vinyl here, the camera. Where's my yeah? Gotcha. Okay. So gotcha. this is one that's cut out. I I don't remember when I cut this out. So it's some gears. Um, so you'll cut it through a machine. Now this is actually a, an example of a cheap vinyl. Um, mm -hmm. I don't typically use. Um, and uh, but anyway, so we need to actually decide we want to keep that gear. So we just need to weave it here. And so, um, I'm just gonna cut this. And this is one reason why. I do this on glass so I can just cut my vinyl right off. So cut around what you don't want or cut out the piece you want. Yeah. While you're doing that, Pizza Ninja is asking about the tools you use. I mean, Crazy currently expensive. what the tool you've used is a, uh, you know, is your, uh, my finger, my no, your, uh, you use the, water. um, uh, your cutter you know so yeah the plotter um so like i was saying you can get there's a lot of people that have the crickets right. um and i would definitely recommend it but you can spend anywhere from i think you can get a 24 inch plotter for like 250 dollars. okay all the way up to you go with a, a, a suma uh or anything like that which is typically what like martin uses or the bigger places use sure uh, that are you know, three, four, five thousand dollars. Um, I mean, if you're careful with an exacto knife, you could probably cut something you, out. You could actually. Um, I actually was going to show that real quick, but I'm not that great with an exacto yeah, knife. I understand. So I cut out the part I wanted. So we'll just put this this gear on something. So yep. I weaved out the vinyl that is garbage. Mm -hmm. um, now you can do different ways of taking it out. So if there's really small lettering to take out, um, yep. I use a dental pick. And then yeah, you can get in there and idea. just pick the vinyl off. Right. Um, but other than that, um, for vinyl work, the most expensive thing is the plotter. Well, right. it could be the program, too. Some of the programs are uh, pretty expensive. 
uh, Martin was saying he's using a 3M 7725. I think it's rated for eight years outdoor. So okay, yeah. So Martin and, would know this is this is what he does. And so. a Facebook user is telling us the crickets are anywhere from 150 to 400. So it gives you an idea. Yeah, yeah it gives you a gen. I mean, you know. Yeah, and the crickets they can do all kinds of stuff. So um, that's cool. Yeah, I was actually at. Not a Hobby Lobby. Was it a Michael's or something the other day? And I uh-huh. noticed all the stuff. I think crickets, you can actually take vinyl and gl- or you can make cups or something. Oh, around okay. it. it actually has a part that goes around, does mugs and stuff. Right. Uh, that's amazing. I didn't know that the cricket stuff, that, that brand had all that stuff. Wow. <clears throat> so we want to put this on something. So you have two different types of, we need to pre-mask it first. So you have two okay. different types of pre-mask. You have your paper pre-mask. Okay. Um, and then you have a clear plastic pre-mask the nice thing about the clear is you can see where you're going to put it yeah absolutely the bad thing about it is it's pretty sticky and if it's not sticking very well to the whatever you're you're, you're putting it right uh it's going to pull it back off the paper like i showed last week you can get it wet and it will take the adhesiveness away and you just pull it off so right uh but you know it's up to you um so what we'll do is I'll just use some paper pre-mask here. Sure. On this one real quick. Yeah, I could see where um you gotta be <laughs> you gotta be aware of the strength of what you're using because uh if you're not, then like you said, um uh, that's fairly transparent, I guess. Yeah, if you're depending on what you're trying to see and where you're at. Yeah. Um I have a good light on it. But sometimes out outdoors or anywhere where you're putting it, it, it can be tough to sure. see, especially if you're trying to overlay it with something else. Okay, gotcha. So like these signs here, um, these yeah. have two layers, and so I got to get that notice perfectly lined up in there. Um, right. So I can either lay all the black and then go back with the notice, or I can mm-hmm. use I can do it all at one time. I could do it on a pre mask and then set it all at one time. Sure. Um, but. You know, it just depends on what you want. So anyway, so this is uh, the vinyl. I have way too much pre-mask here. It's okay. If you're doing lettering, the nice thing is, is to get one of the edges straight. So the straight, the edge on the lettering, Mm -hmm. you want to get it straight and you want to try and get that pre-mask right at the bottom of the lettering. I wonder if I have any lettering. And then that way, you know, you have a nice straight line. And if you can make that straight, um, wherever you're trying to put it, then it's going to go on straight. If you make that sentence or whatever the line is straight, sure. or if you have a part, then yeah. you use it as a reference to make it straight. Make it perfect that way. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you're, I was looking at the one that you did that I, that I got from you. And it, I mean, the residential and commercial, you know, you probably did that in one long line, right? You probably didn't do mm-hmm. each individual letter. No, that's all one. That's one cut just stuck on all at one time i believe right so that's you know something to think about is it's it, it it's not as necessarily as much work as it looks like because when you cut it uh or when you when you get it on a uh you get it done you just kind of line it up and carefully pull off the mm-hmm. the pre-mask and you can get it all done that way yes exactly um so what we will stick this on is find something here fairly simple um you know i'm just going to stick it on the glass because i can pull it off easy okay um so now you peel the vinyl off from your pre-mask right you throw the back of your vinyl away um and then all you have to do is figure out where you want it pretty simple um you can Mm -hmm. use one of your reference a straight line if you want to reference where you want it to go and you stick it on now. A good thing to do is just kind of stick the part that's going to be straight on, right? And then and run it, it mm-hmm. and then run it up, and then get all the bubbles out, right? Uh, and then you also won't get any creases or seams. Now, this is glass, so it's going to stick real easy. Yeah, I take the pre mask and pull it back at a sharp angle, and it comes off, right? Just right, um, so that it, yeah. no no bubbles or anything in that. It's it's on there really really good. But right. you could always, like I did last week, spray some water on it, let it sit, rub it in, mm-hmm. and pull it off, and it will come off. Right. That's what's kind of one of the issues with these ammo cans. I cleaned it really well with denatured alcohol right, um, beforehand, but it 
does not vinyl does not like to stick to this at first until it dries oh uh, okay you know until it sets for a day or so and then it sticks real well but um so it's a little bit um <clears throat> it's it's you gotta t you gotta be very careful when you're doing these because the stuff will slide and move very easily yeah until it dries on the ammo cans yeah so, uh, it must it, be something that they put on the ammo can right i mean could you what are some things you could do like i know you like you said denatured alcohol could you mm -hmm. would you want to sand it and then put it on if you can try the, and sand it but I don't know how that would be on the ammo can. I've not tried to sand an ammo can. Okay. I um, guess the, the I guess you can kind of. I do don't think tricks. sanding it would. I, you want the adhesive to stick very well, right? Uh, and so it should be. It shouldn't have to. Uh, Dave said something about any ceiling top coat to hold it in place on the ammo can. I didn't. You give it a day to set, and it it's on there permanently. Those I probably won't be able to pull off um well that's good to know i guess so, you well in fact you... you can see where it's been this this is an event cache and so um you can see where it's been dinged and stuff going back right. and forth in and out of the car and to the events and stuff and that's not coming off sure so um if you're if you have a surface that you're not that's giving you some trouble could you could you try to seal it in with something put a put a sealer a sealant on top of it i guess right i don't know how well it would be okay uh D martin says and and martin does this for a living he says you want a uh, the surface to be super smooth not sanded oh okay for it to stick good to know so, that's thanks martin. i don't know if sealing it in with something would thing i think you just need to be patient and wait a day and yeah it'll be set and good to go so i guess i was thinking of paint because sometimes you want like if you try to paint something, the paint will peel off. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's good to keep a to have a surface with some a little bit of rough texture to it for the for the paint, but apparently not good for vinyl. Yeah, you want the opposite for vinyl. So, but not greasy. Yeah, uh, engineer forty two had to step away. He's asking if you're using an outdoor yeah automotive grade vinyl. Yes, okay. it is. Yes, we are. Gotcha. I am. Okay. Cool. That last one, that green, I don't think it was an outdoor. It's not a high end one. Um, the the higher end stuff that we use, the 3M that Martin mentioned, has right. a clear backer to it. Um, okay. So you actually don't see the back. That one had white. So like this one here, I just grabbed some junk. Yeah. Uh, stuff out of. Uh, well, here we can go with this. So the back of this is clear because the back of the green, right yeah. here, mm -hmm. is white. Um, but this here, uh, is clear. And so that's what we right. typically use. And that's the high end 3M, yeah. uh, stuff. And like so when, like our window decals that we sell, mm -hmm, like, same thing or like that. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I'm, and like this one here, this yeah. one is not on a premium I, one. I put that on the, on my car and I've never, I mean, I, you I've, shouldn't have any issues with it. I don't have any issues in I car. I mean, I, I use the power washer at, you know, car wash and I'm always a little concerned it's going to come flying off, but, uh, it's never the curl, you know, and I figured the Texas sun too, you figured that, you know, it's always a hundred degrees here. Cause that's what people think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, th there's no, when you look at it and you rub your hand across it, you can feel the, you know, the texture there, but there's no, none of it's curling up. None of it's, you know, it's all white, but still, I mean, it's not. I have signs like this out uh -huh. that I put out in 2016 and they still look brand new. Right. And they're in the sun quite a bit. So, um, I, yeah. At some point you will have to redo it. Like Martin said, it has, what did he say? It was a seven or eight years. Seven years. Yeah. Um, so. Quincy Cryptid said he is using some vinyl lettering commercially produced, but it's on slightly rough surfaces. No problem. Uh, Cause there are times when you might have a rough surface. You don't have a choice, mm -hmm. you know, because of where it's at. So yeah, you can put it on. I've had people put it on wood and it sticks. Uh, right. I know you can heat it up with the heat gun to get it to stick a little bit better uh, right. or into the surfaces. 
right uh or into the or crevices a little bit more but yeah so you can you can test it and decide what you want to use it on but uh that, that's completely up to you right uh so that is the the vinyl we did here right um now one thing i like to do if you have a vinyl cutter um, mm-hmm. one thing I like doing all my caches is I like to label them. Even if it's just, I have several of them that are electrical panels and I put this sticker on the front. Right. And most geocachers will know what that is. Um, and so, uh, to me, or if it's a gadget, yep. I'll stick that one on there typically. Yep, I love it. Um, or if it's a mystery, I can stick that one on there. Sure. So, or was that a puzzle? Yeah. Well, mystery. Puzzle? Yeah. It, t- mystery technically. Puzzle. Yeah, technically a mystery because it could doesn't have to be a puzzle. It could be other. That's the universal Um, other. (laughs) (laughs) It's everything else is the question mark. So, yes. So to make these, we just cut a round white circle, and then we cut the green and we overlaid them on top of each other. Oh, okay. And I should have. Give me one more second here. Yeah, go for it. Um, Pull that out, but I can make something work here. Yeah, while you're doing that, we need to do uh, someday. We need to have a uh, campaign. We'll call it a campaign. I guess we'll call it a campaign. Uh, we need to do um, because we we we've done that previously, where we said that we really want to see like virtuals come back. And what do you know? Virtuals came back. Um, not not necessarily we were the only people that were asking about it but we did do uh, a show basically this we want virtuals back so i wanted i'd love to do a show at either now or with geocache talk basically saying we want again not everybody will agree with me that's okay you don't need you don't have to agree with me but i would like to see there be a gadget like like type not just not not just an mm-hmm. attribute but i want to i'd love to see gadget be a type. i don't think that will ever happen i don't think it will either because i've been involved don't... with those discussions and They're... the problem is is what do you determine a gadget is not or isn't true and then do you have a special reviewer on that mm-hmm. um and then you have to require people to send in photos and everything and i'm like aren't you already requiring that for like earth caches and stuff, right? Don't they have to go into detail? Yeah. On it? And isn't that up to, I mean, or, or other ones. I don't, to me, it's an easy thing to do. Send me a picture of it. Um, and tell me what it does. And I can tell you if it's a gadget or not, but sure. Um, the, the other thing I know now that, they'll do not, and they'll do an attribute, but not a icon. They'll do an attribute. And that's been talked about too. We could probably get, well, what do we use? What do you currently use? I have to look. Anyway, I use a puzzle for mine. Use the puzzle one. Yeah. We could probably get a gadget attribute done. I know that they're really frown upon and it's been probably been a decade or longer since we've had a new icon. Mm -hmm. I think multicast might've been the last one that was added. I'm sure I'm, I don't know if I'm right or not, but you get the idea. There's, it's been a long time. Yeah. uh, Bell in the move mentions field puzzle. Yeah, field puzzle is is nice, but I'd like there to be also a gadget icon. But anyway, back to, back to vinyl. Oh yeah, no biggie. Good. So um, I don't have a circle exactly for this here, mm-hmm. um, right? But what we could do is try and overlay this gear okay. on top of this little circle, so it'll be white on the inside. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, um, yeah, I see what you're doing. Layer it. Yeah, that's all. That's all we're doing. Uh, really simple. No, that's a good idea, though. I like that because you could do. Yeah, uh, you're right, Pizza Ninja. But even a gadget attribute. Now, let me show you what I was t- talking about. You know, the white and the clear. Yeah, I'm trying to put the two together. So using the white, when you're trying mm-hmm. to layer this, right? Um, it's going to be hard to see. Right. Now, oh, you can I'll use a light you. table up underneath. 
Yeah, yeah. To help shine the the uh, shape of that through. Oh yeah, so you can get it um, put together correct. Yeah, because you're not gonna be able to see it. Right. So you gotta be real careful. <laughs> so it's like, okay, can you? You can't see where that you white see what is. You're doing right. Right. So yeah. if we did this. Oh. Can you do the opposite? Put the white on top of... Oh, okay, right. I'll use the clear. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll make a big difference. Yeah. So some of the time you might have to do that. Whoops. No, I just ruined it. Got too aggressive and pushed too hard. Let's see if I can save it. Welcome, Jeff. Part of our uh, Aussies. Aussie and New Zealanders. We got a group that uh, uh, joined us from. So now if we want to put this on top of that white, now we can see the white. Yep. Yeah, much better. Yeah, yeah. You can Now you can see exactly what you, you, know, what you need to do. So you're right. Some, sometimes it's good to use the clear. So this sometimes the film will, I don't know if it's static electricity will bring it up. Uh-huh. See how, I don't know if you saw how it keeps bringing it up to my. So you my, just got to uh, be right, real, <laughs> Yeah, so you got to be really careful. careful. Um, what I might do. Got a little static working. Yeah. Oh, tape it down maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. So I've seen a lot of people do this a lot of different ways. Um, there's a guy at a fair doing some signage. Uh -huh. and he actually had a template that the the pre the vinyl went on and then the sign itself was held down by something else. Oh, and okay. anyways, he just had to go straight down with it and it lined everything up perfectly. And I looked at it. This was years and years ago. I looked at it once and thought, oh, that's really cool. And now yeah. I wish I could remember what it looked like because I'd love to build one. Right. Yeah, we've got... Uh, we got the uh, battle of the, uh, the hockey teams in the chat room again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. As long as it's not Colorado. Uh, so now that I'm layering it, I don't want it to pull up the right. off of the other. Oh, that's true. You got to make sure we get both. So here we yeah, go. I like I like how you did that very so, carefully. If you look at it i don't know how close it is but yeah that, that's that's really good so if you look at layering you know i have another example what did i do with it did i get rid of it i had they used to have the gadget talk sign somewhere oh yeah right that was yeah that's very right clever here we go same thing three colors i think three colors four colors yeah. um but i used a sharpie to make my centers okay <laughs> but that's smart. Um, so if you look at it it's all layered um the gadget talk is black behind it and then oh, the gray yeah. gears with the dark gray behind it yeah so it's all layered but if you look at it in the light <laughs> i forgot to erase the uh well, the, the, the black black <laughs> yeah so if you put a light behind it you'll see the sharpie so something I didn't think about until afterwards. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, that's exactly how I did it. If you see everything is is layered and everything's perfectly straight. Um, but I was able to use lines with a Sharpie. Right. And the Sharpie will come off uh, with the nature alcohol off of the, the acrylic easy. So right. that's how I did that. But anyways, this almost looks like a uh, poker chip or something. Yeah, it looks cool. I like it. Okay. So then you just then all you do is take your pre-mask on top right now at that, that point you're and i'm obviously not taking it. much time yeah unless you want to put another layer on it layer on it yeah and then you just stick it to whatever you want but and hopefully both will come off together it should it's on glass yeah 
There you go. Yep. So that's it. It has a little air bubble in it. Air bubbles will go away after a few days, after it oh, heats up a bit. Um, but uh, it's better to leave them and let them go away on their own. Um, you can get a little tool that pokes a tiny hole in it. Right. But every time I do that, I can yeah. see the hole. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's I'm better sure. just to wait and be patient. Don't try and rub it out because what you can do end up doing is stretching the vinyl. Okay. Uh, and then that looks even worse. So oh, um, I didn't, I didn't take much time when I uh, squeegeed it on there. So no, that's good though. That's good to know because I would have thought um, you would want to really like massage it, and, like really push on it and get that bubble to come out. But you might just screw it up. <laughs> yeah. And whereas you might not, you can't. Now see this it. is not coming up okay I'll show you another trick this is not coming up without being wrecked because it's on glass okay it's really solid then okay yeah it's going to stretch and have That's... issues to come up and once you get it once it touches that glass it's going to yeah. stay okay so a trick you can do is use some water okay so if you take this you know, it's probably way too much water david you have a small water. squirt bottle huh Dave agrees. Um, I he's agreeing with us or Pizza Ninja, but <laughs> that's okay. So, so you're gonna do some water. Oh, yeah, you're gonna, a little tiny squirt bottle. Okay, because you you're, you're, you're you're hoping to. This is if it's on, and you're hoping to get it out. Is that no? The, this is to install it. But if it's on a surface like glass, once it okay. touches, it's gonna stick. Oh, okay. and you're not gonna be able to play oh, with okay. it. But you may will need to move it a little bit. So if okay. you do it on water, you it moves. You see that? Oh yeah. So you, oh, that's not where I want it. And I have a lot of water on there. But that's okay. Um, so but once you get it where it is, where you want it, right. you should be able to. I wish I just had a tiny bit of water, but I didn't. That spray bottle is too big. Um, mm. you get it where you want it to be, right? And then you spray your water on top. Let it get rid of the adhesiveness on the. Oh, on the your pre on, on pre, -mask. The pre mask. Okay. And let it sit, and you should let it sit for a few minutes. Okay. Um, and that'll sort of probably kinda... do that and come back to it. Okay. Um, but uh, interesting. You know, once you let it sit and get rid of its adhesiveness, which it already is, right? You can peel that off, and now oh, you're okay. stuck. So you're able to play with it. Once you squeegee it, it should stick. And now you're right. good to go. Oh, okay. And you can get water bubbles underneath there too as well. And those uh -huh. will go away as well. Once oh, okay. Up. That one doesn't have any bubbles, but um, that's good to know. Bigger that. things. So yeah, now that's stuck. That's not going anywhere. Right. Wow. But that water, as you see, I could move it around. Yeah. Uh, while I was working with it. And then once I have it where I want it, squeegee it. And then get rid of the adhesiveness so I don't pull it off with the paper pre-mask. Right. And then you're done. Now, with the clear pre-mask, that, that clear pre-mask is very sticky, and it would peel that back off. Oh, okay. Or it could, because I'm not a professional. So, for me, it would, especially if I was doing it live. Yeah. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> Let's see. Very clever. Okay. So... Let's go on to what else are we talking about? Uh, we can talk about wraps. So what I do with some of my gadget caches, and I, we've talked about this a little bit, uh -huh. is I like the look of different textures. So this is wood. Right. I don't like to deal with wood because it expands, it contracts, it sure. gets wet and mold. This is acrylic with a wood look to it. Right. Um, I use this cup, this stuff here. It's made... You can get it very, inex I think, $20 for 10 feet of it, two foot by 10 feet, I think, or 60 inches. Uh, it's yeah. Vivid makes it. It's a okay. commercial-grade graphics paper. Mm -hmm. Install it just like you did, except for you'd install it on a piece of acrylic. The way I installed on acrylic would be, let me see if I can find a piece here, um, scrap piece. Um, it's not very clean but um yeah bell and type of thing yeah says we're gonna have a petition at cash fest so um yeah so same thing oops i used the wrong stuff so with this you can scratch it 
So okay. you want to use this soft surface. Okay. Um, on here. Once you get it on where yeah. you want it, then you turn it over and just cut it. Okay. Once you get it on where you need it to be. Right. Yeah. And I used to save all the little vinyl that's left over <laughs> because I was like, oh, I might use that little piece for something. And then it would sit around and sit around. It never uses. <laughs> yes. And then I got a drawer full of little tiny pieces of vinyl. Right. So, like, um, no, so anyways, no so then you have your, your wrap on there, your mask. Sure. Now, if you're putting on something where you have corners, you want to get it into, um, you can also get a squeegee like this. Right. That actually can get into corners. Uh, we're into crevices easy enough to actually so if there was an edge there and i wanted to get it in tight yeah. i could use this and then i can go along with my knife if i wanted to uh and cut it out so where'd you where'd you get that that tool like all this stuff's on amazon uh if i was good i would probably have provided links but i'm not so i'll see okay. i'll see if i can email them to Derek uh later yeah we can probably can add them later them. Um, um if you go to vinyl tools on amazon you can find all this stuff. Show show that one up a little higher on the camera so I can see. Okay, so it's got a oh okay, so it's got two different types of yeah. So it's a soft end. So if you need to poke it into a corner or something, and right. then this one, if you need to get it along the, the edge, yeah, whatever you the... whatever you think you could use it for. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's sometimes you can't like totally you said you, you can't get your finger in there like that. So you want to use something. If you have yeah. a tool, then it works. You need yeah. something sharper to get it in there. You could also use a heat gun to heat it up a bit to get it into that crevice. If you're yeah. putting over something like a rivet that's a bump, heat it up. Oh, yeah. And then you can actually use this or your other one and kind of get it in there around mm -hmm. that rivet. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, this one's here is carbon fiber. Same thing. It's a wrap. That's carbon fiber. Um, But it sticks. Okay. It sticks very well. Yeah. Okay, cool. These have been out for a long time. Right. Um, this is just black with uh, yellow vinyl on yeah. it. Um, and then, what is this one? Uh, oh, this is one that I used the hammered steel paint, but I did the vinyl work around it. Oh, okay, but there's cool. stainless steel vinyl. I have stainless steel. I have copper. I have gold. Oh, okay. um, yeah. There's there's all kinds. If you look online, look up vivid uh, uh, commercial. Uh, Show that one again, real or, quick. Show that one which again. One? Sorry. Chad, show Which that again because I never thought the about container that. or the yeah the container. Show that uh, pelican case thing right there again. Okay. Open that puppy up. So what you're saying is that the 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 that that metal around there is not metal. It's actual vinyl. No, so black is so vinyl? this is supposed to be a safe. Yeah, and so I looked up a design of a safe. Well, safes are typically hammered steel. Oh, okay. right. So I used a hammered steel paint. On top of oh, vinyl, okay, gotcha. Or on top of acrylic, and then I did the vinyl lettering, acrylic, and then did vinyl on the side. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, okay. and this is one. If you haven't found it, you'll see it at Cash Fest. You actually have to figure out the puzzle. It's crack the safe, um, and uh, the batteries are still in it. But you have to go through and yeah. enter all the different codes and stuff. That's so cool. um, that, that's I think you've seen this one. I have. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, going cashing. I thought you brought. You brought that one, I think, going caching. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, so stainless steel, there's there's all kinds of stuff you can get on there. I have um, uh, oak and walnut and red red oak or cherry or right. whatever. Um, one thing you can get, let me see here. I like that idea because you still can use the acrylic case that you make because when there's a, and there's a, a a video out there you can go you can go watch one of our older uh shows that shows you how to do an acrylic case inside of and then you can just paint it so mm -hmm. that's cool so you know how cars you can wrap stuff yeah um with the vinyl wrap that's what this is actually okay. uh and the difference is your regular vinyl let me find a piece around here okay I got scrap stuff everywhere. I'm a whore. I've um, is a solid piece of vinyl okay. on here. So when you put it on, you get air underneath it. Um, it's you got to let it get out on its own. Uh huh. Um, but you can see it. You can kind of get little air marks in there. 
Uh Uh, with a wrap you typically it's a lot easier because on the back of it yeah um i'll probably never ever use this roll of vinyl someone gave this to me right um on the Uh, back of it it actually has lots little little holes i don't know if you can see it oh interesting okay and so um it actually will let the air out. It's designed to not be on a flat yeah. surface, maybe, or it can be any. It could be on a curve. Yeah, surface. and I don't know the whole thing. I don't wrap stuff, so. Um, but from my understanding, um, and Martin right. could probably explain it better. Is it lets the air out a lot easier? But oh, I've okay. never wrapped anything. I, it doesn't stick as good to me as some of the stuff. But right. Um, anyway, I got air in there. Uh, Bot Matrix mentions he knows of a three three M vinyl that can block light, but it allows infrared light through. Would work nicely for a cash puzzle. So that's oh, that'd that's be fun. Yeah, that's a good idea, Bot Matrix. So that's air channels. Martin calls them air channels in the wrap. Yeah, air channels. Yeah, it makes sense. So, but um, if you wanted something like extremely curved, then maybe that's where that would use the wrap heat it up you can do it with vinyl too you got to heat it up and stretch it and i'm not that good with vinyl work so Uh, i'm not the person to ask for advice on that to watch youtube (laughs) but okay yeah still still cool though some great ideas and one last thing we showed this last week but since we're here we'll go about it we'll talk about this real quick so this is uh um Oh my goodness. I want to say a template. It's uh this this is a something you cut on your vinyl. Uh it's not as sticky. It's uh mm, okay. stencil. A stencil. So, okay. So yeah, it's a stencil. So this is for painting. If you can do anything oh. with paint or a rub. Okay. So um in fact, let's try you know, I haven't tried this, but I kind of want to try it. What do I have around here? Is this sort of the uh vinyl equivalent to blue tape where you can then pull it out? pull it up yes yeah okay. and so you could paint it and then and then call it good so i have some abs work here. okay um we're gonna try this i haven't tried this but i've thought about it okay so we're gonna pull out just like we did before yeah the uh stuff we do not want to keep right i noticed it doesn't stick as much unless you have like last week i had that brand new paint <laughs> i put it on right and then i ran and then my plan was not to leave it on very long and then i realized i had to run to the store to get the paint <laughs> stuff i had wasn't working so um but i probably could have done a little bit on. more yeah no that's good yep yep it's you're you're getting there <laughs> nice Definite so Star Wars and something there. Yeah, this I just happen to have this left over, so yeah, I like it. Okay, so um what I want to do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put the pre-mask on. Okay. Let me move this board. All right. Okay. Yep. Make sure it's on there. Yep. Got it. Okay. So I probably go through this and press too much on it. I see other guys do it real soft and then they're done. Right. Uh, I always want to make sure it sticks. But yeah, uh, there you go. So you check see. it as you go. <laughs> I almost pulled the wrong side off. Yeah. So we'll pull this backer off. Now they put um a grid on here. I don't know what that's for. It'd be nice if it was on the uh oh the, the um, other side, pencil. the grid. Yeah. Uh-huh. And there may be a brand that has it. Um Vivid also makes it. I bought two different brands because um I haven't used this uh before until last week. So oh, okay. um they both had really high ratings, and I know Vivid, but this had a better rating, so I bought it. Mm-hmm. Um and it seems to work pretty good. That's cool. Now, I don't know if it will 
cool. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. I'm not going to get it wet. Looks like it's staying okay. Yeah, I'm going pretty sharp, right? I don't want to pull up because it's going to pull up the template. So I have it pulled over here. Uh, so okay. Let's try this. I've been wanting to try something here. Yeah. Okay. And um, so far, so good. Uh, Martin, so far. Sent, Martin's saying you can use any vinyl to do that. It's just a matter of ease of removal. So. Okay, that's good to know. And being able to see through it. you Yeah, you can. Yeah. This stuff's fairly inexpensive. And the nice thing about it is it's not supposed to be very sticky. So okay. it won't. it's not supposed to pull your paint away. Oh, unless you just okay. put your paint on. Okay, I follow you. So, all right. I'm going to try this. So I haven't done this yet, but I've been wanting to try. Okay. Probably should be putting it on something. Yeah. How about this? Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, okay. So this is some rub and buff. Okay. So you're thinking that possibly that's going to then work. Yeah, if I don't get too crazy and go outside the... Yeah. But yeah, we're just testing. So if you just want it slightly on there, okay. I kind of went really heavy on the edge, but let's see what happens. It kind of gives it that wear look, uh huh, or it's supposed to. Sure. So you would typically let that dry, but this isn't a typical podcast. <laughs> Interesting. So then, um, then rub and buff. Interesting. Peel it off. Oh, okay. I went really heavy, but if I would have went light over the whole thing, yeah, it would have looked like it was worn, sun bleach, stuff like that. Can you, if it's called rub and buff, could you go back now and? So if it dried, you can go back with the black or something. Could you use like a, could, a really fine sandpaper or something to take off parts of it? I don't know if it would. I mean, that's pretty thin. The, uh, I don't know. Okay. That's a good question. I mean, like yeah. a really, Normally really I'd let high. this dry, but I'm being impatient for the yeah, show. So like a 4,000 or higher, you know, really high. Uh, and this is a texture the, that I put it on, so it's yeah. not very smooth. So let's just Still, though, that. that's... So, yeah, so then you're going to pull that part off. Okay, interesting. Okay. just kind of smearing a bit, but... That's all right. We're, we're doing... We're, it's a... It's a we're experimenting in the process up here yeah we're experimenting so that's the important thing this is where having a pick comes in handy mm -hmm. oh absolutely definitely for sure because uh yeah i've seen where yeah you you need something to be able to 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 grab those so there you go. It's looking pretty good, actually. Oh, you got a whole. Yep. There you go. Good job. So it's supposed to give it that kind of used or that warm. Uh -huh. Let me see if. Yeah, that's good. Uh, no, I like that. It, but it's supposed to kind of give it that. I went really heavy over here, which you can if you want. Yeah, silver. it's good that you did um, both. If actually, you just go over it real quick, it kind of gives it that worn look. Right. Do it. Or if you want to do... Oh, you know what would have helped is if really I went heavy. the other way with my strokes, too, because you can see mm -hmm. how sharp it is there, but here it's not because I went this way. Right. And evidently, that vinyl's thick enough to to actually have it... Let, so I should have went up and down maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So this works good on leather. So if you're trying to do something on leather uh -huh. um, or anything like that, this actually works really well on leather Oh, okay. Uh, for this. I'll but like anyway... That. Um, so just a thought you can, you can, yeah, you can do that. And so awesome. now it's not a vinyl. It's actually paint yeah. that's on there that shouldn't wear off. Right. But you didn't have to sit there and try to figure out, you can use the vinyl as a template instead of trying to, well, use other things. This way you've got a perfect template mm -hmm. using the vinyl or the. 
what do you the want template material or the yeah the mask pencil the, material yeah yeah that's clever so I, like I mean that. it's kind of up to your imagination what you think you can do yeah that's awesome so perfect i think that's pretty much everything um nice we have to to go on let me find my yeah my mouse uh anything in the you've been going over the comments pretty good so that was a quick hour yeah no everybody's been great um thanks everybody for uh don't forget to smoosh that like button yes and, uh, martin did say here he's used premium vital for the essential before but it's a pain to remove okay yeah um, so, yeah i follow you there's an automotive wrap that yeah bot matrix mentioning that infrared passing vinyl is automotive wrap 3m 1080 7652 and 7527 for those that are interested and we are interested to, so thank you bot matrix for that i'll have to check that out yeah i always like i always like new that. new things and we do have audio listeners, so we always want to mention these kind of things. They can then people can go back and check on them. Um, so we try to make sure and accommodate uh, both our watchers and our listeners. So I always forget about the audio. I mean, honestly, if you <laughs> there are people I don't know that if I could drive listen. down the road, I guess you could drive down the road and listen to it. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, you can. But you need to yeah, watch it later. Yeah, you can go back and go, when I get home, you know, I want to go back and take a look at a link or something or, but yeah, um, most definitely there's, you know, and you guys do, you really guys do do a good job of mentioning whatever you're doing, which is good because um, I sometimes forget that. And so there's times when um, uh, <laughs> Jesse will jump in and go, and so here's what we're doing. And uh, I'm not good with that. That's why I have Derek. Derek is good with all that stuff. He is really good at that. And he's so. great at looking stuff up on Amazon and getting the link for it on there fast. Yeah. So <laughs> way better than uh, me. Gene, thank you so much. Thank you. Hit the like. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, Dave's asking about the cricket. And it's not cricket like that cricket, uh, Dave, <laughs> although we know what you mean. It's cry cut, right? C R I C U T. Uh, I have no idea. I think it's cry cut. You would probably C R I C U T. Uh, we call it cricket. Yeah. The, the, to, uh, I think it's pronounced cricket, but it's not spelled cricket. No, it's spelled cry cut. C R I U T. Yeah. Facebook users uh, tell me that's correct. So, yeah. In fact, I've got a link. Um, well, you can go to cry cut. I'm saying it that way. Cause I want people to realize that's probably even not the correct way to say it, but I'm just trying to make sure I put it in the, in the chat. Cry. I'm curious with, with the cricket, if you yeah. have, yeah, cry cut. Yeah. Um, if you have to have a program to download or to make your design on, um or not because like the bigger machines like what i have you actually have to either use uh corel draw or there are so many different programs but you actually have to pay yeah. for them and they're not cheap so oh, um steph on there by the way so yeah just fyi if you are on facebook you do have to authenticate to the show to otherwise you become just a generic uh, facebook user, user. Um, they have one at home. I wonder what if they have a. They know what the model is that that you that you use Bot Matrix that and it may not be one he wants to recommend or she wants to recommend. Um, I'd like to learn more about them. They, so if anybody from their corporate office is listening, we'd yeah. love to be a sponsor. Absolutely, you guys as a sponsor. Exactly. Um, yep, American brand. Not that it matters. We have work. Um, it looks like some of them are actually fairly good sized. Yeah. Um, I'm, and this is a really, this is a wild guess. I'm guessing if you bought a machine like that, it's going to come with a generic program that at least a, it's got to come with. Um, 
I don't think so. So Dave is asking about uh, what kind of file it would take. Uh, S- STL, um, actually, Martin would probably be better to answer this too. Um, sometimes I actually go into my vinyl cutter to download as an STL because I have certain programs that will only take STL. Right. And like publisher won't do STL. There's a few ones. And so I'll actually just download it as a, a JPEG into my vinyl cutter and then upload it from there as STL. Okay. Um, yeah. Bob Matrix saying when you, when you can bring in a vector drawing and put it in the cry cut maker software, okay. um, they have cry cut maker and uh, Husker medic mentioned about cry cut design space. So, and there's probably groups out there that you could get, you could be involved with that, that, that do a lot of that. Probably, I'm probably not even pronouncing it. It's probably pronounced cricket, but to it's avoid cricket. to avoid the confusion, I'm trying to say it cry cut, even though that's not the pro- proper pronunciation, just so people don't think of if they put in cricket, C-R-I-C-K-E-T, and they're like, I can't find this product you're talking about. It's because it's C-R-I cut, C-U-T, cry cut. But I believe so. my wife used to have a cricket machine. Oh, wow. I don't know what happened to it. It was a long time ago. Uh huh. Um, Martin saying something about uh, Silhouette Studio. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no idea. Um, yeah, Steph is saying she did. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. No, you're right. Yeah, she did. Uh, so cool. It was a good show. Yeah. Good show, Chad. So. So any of those, I know a lot of cash uh, geocachers have the cricket machines. Uh, and from what I, like I said, I was at Michael's and what they've come out with is amazing. Right. So, yeah. No, that's, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah. And it, it definitely makes a difference on your cash. I think it makes it look a lot more professional. Um, you know, it just adds an ex- extra aspect of, of uh, when you find it, that it's just cool. Oh, okay. Uh, Engineer 42 has mentioned there's an Inkscape as an open source uh, for graphics outputs to STL. That's good to know. Uh, Husker Medic saying that there is a silhouette machine, but it's different than the Cricut. Oh, okay. Um, well, good to know. So ultimately, do some research on it, I guess. Yeah, but that's perfect. Um, yeah, and you can do a lot of things with them. Uh, you can make all kinds of different vinyl things. But yeah, they're perfect for caches for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so perfect. All right. Well, I think we're wrapped up. Yes. So next week, mm-hmm. uh, I think we're going to start talking about a new. So I have an idea. Oh, cool. And I will put this out there actually. Um, I want to make a really cool gadgety light skirt cache. What kind of gadget cache you said? I'm sorry. A light skirt or lamp post, I guess you oh, would call okay. it. Oh, okay, an LPC. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like so, it. but I want to make it a gadget one, and I have an idea for one. So oh, clever. Um, next week we're going to talk about that and maybe start building it. But, okay. you know, think about it over the week, everybody on, on the chat, and come back next week with some ideas, and maybe we'll use some of your ideas. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be fun. Uh, I've had this idea for years, and I've wanted to put it out and put it out, and just okay. haven't had time, and now this is a good excuse to actually make it to, to do one awesome yep. when well, it can probably be adapted into things other than just lamppost but oh, you'll see it and my idea and it's been used on other builds but okay. it's made for a light lamppost or light skirt so i think it's gonna nice. be pretty cool oh awesome very cool well thanks everybody and um checking the last notes um yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking the same thing. So Pizza Ninja mentioned about uh, LPC <laughs> Talk uh, crossover show. Be very difficult because the next LPC Talk show is two years away. So who knows by then if anybody even remembers. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll switch our. Oh, where's the logo at? Yeah, there it's it is. On there. Where's the logo? It should be on there. Let's see. Where's there we the go. Brand? There you go. Now There's the there. logo. There we yeah. go. Yeah, that will be next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, go, go, go back. We're, we're now we're really goofballing under the lamppost. Let's see. All right, here you go. Here's the uh, here's the the show.
That'll be fun. We should open next week with that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Never throw anything away because you never know when you might need it. So yeah, uh, we've kept we've kept so much stuff. We got stuff for Worldwide Cash Con. It's still out here. That uh, it's nice to have. Just so sort of I like it. it. It's good to have. I like being able to have all the different options. Yeah, it is. So all right, we're gonna say good night, and we'll see everybody <laughs> next week. And come up with your your ideas for lamppost skirt for next week. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.